Hey, what's going on, every guys? It's Piccolo back here with the In the Zone podcast, bringing you guys episode number four today. Uh, just talk about a lot about Warzone, I guess. Today's the anniversary, so I mean, one year, kind of crazy year. A lot of people blew up. Kind of see where we're gonna go in the future, you know. And I guess we talk about current issues too in Warzone dev air problems. I know Justin had those for a couple of days. Oh yeah. What a love hate relationship in this anniversary, huh? Yeah. <laughs> God Almighty. I've never loved and hated something so much in my life. Literally offered to pay someone to just fix it for you because you're so fed up with it. Yeah. Like this game is so good when it like when it is like in a good state and then like it just seems like whenever it's in a good state, it's not for very long, and then it just like something happens and it's just like that it makes it so hard to like get on and just grind the game and enjoy the game like thoroughly like it could be yeah i feel like whenever there's something's going good on here it's like it'll last for like a week and then someone will find like a broken attachment or a broken meta with a certain gun and just you just see everyone slowly switch over to that gun because all the youtube videos tiktoks i get posted on it and just kind of like destroy the fun. yeah I yeah mean, I, that, that's a problem i think with the game is that like it's not like uh i don't know if it's you know, I don't know if it's skill based matchmaking. I don't know if it's like meta. Like people are maybe just getting better at video games, like overall or whatever it is. But you cannot use a gun. Like if you're an average player, you can't just use like any gun and have fun. Like you have to be using the meta guns, I feel like, to have a decent time on the game. And that's kind of like a little disappointing to me. Like I feel like you can't just get on and have fun or because you're going to get blasted off the map by an AUG or. You go up close to somebody, you're going to get blasted off the map with an FFAR. Yeah, I mean, that's, I guess, that whole engagement-based matchmaking thing. Like, people mm-hmm. say it comes down to, like, what guns you use, too. Like, so if you're using the on-meta guns, you're going to get paired up with the people who use the on-meta guns a lot more often. Yeah. I mean, last night we played with someone who had a .7 KD, and it was probably, like, the most fun I had in one yeah, in a I know. minute, dude. Like, we would just pop UAVs and everyone would be clustered. We're like, wait, what the heck's going on? Like, the first game we hopped on, we weren't playing yeah. with that person yet. But, like, we were just sniping. And, I mean, we won, but we dropped, like, a bunch of kills, too. And we just had car 98Ks with FFARs. Yeah, that was, like, that was like the ideal. Uh, I feel like people always say, like, oh, the first game on is always, like, a bot lobby. But I feel like that never, almost never happens for us. Yeah, I well, I, I think like that just, just right I think it. that deals with the time we get on though. If we were to oh, get true. on in the morning, mid afternoon, we would get that that bot lobby. I'm pretty sure, like, but because we're not getting on till eight p.m. CST, six o'clock PST, yeah. like, there's a lot more people playing at that time, so it's a lot easier to fit you in where you're supposed to fit in. Whereas compared, if you're playing early in the morning, there's not a lot of people that are playing, so yeah. they can't really fit you where you should. At least that's, that's how true. I take it. Yeah, and there seems like there's a lot more hackers like right now too. So yeah, they've definitely sweaty and come hacking. Out. It's the worst, man. I mean, when you're going in in the first circle and you're down to fifty people already, you're just like, oh, lovely. When the hacker is gonna come and kill me? I'm waiting. Yeah, I know. Like it's we had like that game. I think, was it? I don't know if it was our first game yesterday, but we had a game where there was like, was it thirty four people left with like the almost the closing of second circle. Mm-hmm. And then we're just like, what the heck? And then like the third circle, third circle closed, and there's actually more people in the lobby now yeah. than there was at the end. So we're like, oh, hacker must have died. Yeah, he must have died. And then like everybody was just the circle's so big, there's so little people left. It's nobody's gonna die usually. Yeah. So I mean, but kind of sucks. Uh, Dallas Empire Tourney got postponed due to dev error issues. Yep. Yeah. Looking forward to that. I mean, that hundred K got everybody kind of hyped, and then. You had the 30k mm-hmm. empire and too many issues. I know. I'm surprised that uh, the Twitch rival stream it didn't get canceled. I didn't get to watch it. I don't know like how many times people got Dever, but I didn't know it was. Um, I didn't know it was a thing on PlayStation and Xbox too. Right now. Wait, did you know I did not know. I thought it was PC only. No, no. They were saying. Um, I saw a comment on Twitter at, at Jgod, and this guy was like. We need you guys to like. We need you big figures to like talk to these guys, and because it's not just happening on PC, it's happening on, it's crashing on PlayStation, it's crashing on Xbox. Yeah, and I feel like there's been very little acknowledgement from like Raven Software, like even the Call of Duty Twitter about it, and it's like 
I mean, everybody's tweeting about it. Yeah, I th- I feel like lately they've been so good with like the hot fixes for stuff like that, but I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe they have something planned, and it's like coming soon. So they're like gonna do it all at once. I don't know. Yeah, who knows? All right, well, let's get your uh, since it's the anniversary of Warzone today. I mean, by the time we post it, it's gonna be Thursday. The anniversary's gonna oh. be over. But what were your thoughts on the whole entire year? season one with i mean warzone basically came out as soon as we went into lockdown like what do you what do you what's your take on the whole one year anniversary um this is probably like i don't know i would say this is like one of the best like call of duty experiences like i've ever played i've i haven't been like I haven't been addicted to a, like a Call of Duty like this where like I want to play like every day um since like Modern Warfare 3 which is like when I stopped playing competitive. Yeah. So like you know Modern Warfare 2 or um Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, um Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3 like that whole like span I was like just Every I mean, day you know, we, were, we were playing every day, but yeah. I like loved the game. And then like, there's those times like you hate the game because like you're trying so hard and you want to do good and you don't do good or whatever. That's just like how I am in general. Mm-hmm. But I think the game like overall is like there's so much potential to it. Um, I'm hoping like that everybody keeps like being patient with with these this company. I think just because like they want to keep doing the battle royale like good. So, I mean, I don't know. I I really enjoy the game, even if even when it's in a bad state. Like, I hate that it's in a bad state, but the game is still more enjoyable than anything else I play, and yeah. more more enjoyable than any first person shooter game that I've played in a long time. So, do you have any like wishes that they would have done for this past year or oh, anything like I that? I wish they would have changed more of the map. <laughs> Like that's one good thing about like uh um Fortnite when when I was playing that for a while. Uh there was always like it seemed like every season they were getting rid of something and they were like adding a new POI. Mm-hmm. I, I wish they would have done that with that Matt with Verdansk. I feel like they could have just kept Verdansk and added on to it or um taken parts of the map away and turned them into something else like Fortnite did. And it's such a big map, it has so much potential. There's so much like space like think about like all the space they have like in these mountains and stuff that's like super open i feel like you could turn those into like little vi- more like little villages like over by a uh, stadium uh that right right there by like the big red building and yeah and blue, you know what i'm talking about yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah like i feel like you can make more places kind of like that like even adding stuff like that i feel is they could have done that it's such a simple like thing to do um but definitely like adding more POIs to the game. Yeah, I wish they would do more buybacks. I really wish they'd do oh, more of those yeah. LTM buybacks. Like that was my thing, mm-hmm. and that's I mean that's one thing I'm hoping for with this change is we're gonna see more buybacks. Like I would love more buyback quads, but even if it's buyback trios. Buyback do do, people... they should make solos permanently buybacks. Mm-hmm. Um I, I that's my personal opinion. I don't think buyback duos I mean maybe I don't I don't think I've ever played that, but definitely you need to include more buyback trios, buyback quads yeah like no i i agree with that that's i think that should just be a permanent playlist everybody likes it i wouldn't necessarily say permanent but i think when they put it in there they should also put it in there for longer maybe like a week long i feel like they only put it in for like three or four days and then it's out but like why couldn't it be a permanent playlist because then they're gonna they don't want to take away from normal quads i I I like it being an ltm i don't i i I wish they would update servers though because i want 200 player lobbies yeah the map could, I mean, the servers can't handle 200 player lobbies, but the map definitely can. It's big enough. Yeah, I mean, the next map, the way people are talking about it, like if they're saying how it's going to be, is they're saying they're using all the dirty bomb or whatever that mode is from oh, Cold War, yeah, all yeah. those maps. And people have said that there's one map that's freaking huge. It's like that map alone is almost the size of Verdansk, people were saying, or something like that. I've never is, played is, it. It's the, the one that one? came out in, a, oh, okay. I think, season one. Okay, yeah, we definitely midway haven't played through it season one. I don't yeah, I mean I haven't played Dirty Bomb since beta probably. Yeah. So. 
But yeah, but that's uh -huh. what everyone was saying. Like, it's supposed to be all the dirty bomb maps put into, like, one. I but. feel like if you got, if you had the LTM game mode as, like, a, a permanent thing, I feel like people would play more often. Yeah. I never, I didn't play the LTM for, uh, what's that map? Rebirth Island? But people said that 100-player lobby for when the Rebirth was super fun. Oh, was fun. it fun? I didn't play oh, it at man. all, so I don't know. But I know, like, oh, Bruno, okay. someone that follows us, shout out to his website invite to game and stuff but like he said it's really fun i mean mm -hmm. the only time i played rebirth was when the game first came out that or the map first came out yeah that was like the biggest disappointment adding that i think i don't i mean i didn't really like it i'm sure other people disagree but i mean people loved it that pe black the people who play blackout loved it i feel like like yeah. there's people who strictly only play a rebirth island yeah but <laughs> i don't i don't know who that is yeah <laughs> right. you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah is there any wishes you have going into uh i guess year two obviously there's rumors of the new map coming in april um, or i mean there's technically there's rumors of a new map coming tomorrow but with no word from call of duty or raven or anything about like that obviously one, we're going to be waiting probably one wish i had is that i think uh i wish they would buff um the cold war ars i want to see like a new i want to see a like i want to see like an, a cold war weapon be meta that's not that's attack not attack rifle, rifle. yeah yeah absolutely. um well, i, mean, I really yeah, enjoy that, i guess you have the ffar but that's about it yeah but it's more of like it, it's a, it's like a submachine gun the way people use it mid-range yeah. you can use it also but um i want to see like i don't know i just feel like that would be better for the game they added all these Cold War weapons, and I know I know most of them have been meta since we came, but it's been one shot, like the TAC rifles, the DMR, and then M16 and AUG. Yeah. Like, I don't know, and I feel like the reason I think it would be good is because I feel like most players who aren't very good at the game are probably have a hard time using TAC rifles. I feel like, I think it's, I don't know, especially with like a controller. I think it's easier to use a full spray AR. I mean, tack rifle. That, I mean, the only thing I don't like about tack rifles is I personally suck at trying to beam people out of there with it. My my yeah. leading with it is really bad. That's Whereas, what I'm saying. Like, I think the shot is a lot harder to your shot is a lot harder to hit yeah. consistently than than a regular AR. Yeah, like yeah. everybody could use the kilo. I not everybody can use the AUG. I don't think, or the M16. It takes like a little bit more like control to to use. I don't I don't play mouse and keyboard, so I have no idea like how it is on a mouse and keyboard. But um, I just think the game is more enjoyable when there's like an actual an assault rifle, not attack rifle, is the main one. Like my favorite meta has been the Kilo MP5, so I yeah. feel like it was the most balanced, uh, the most fair. You couldn't really like shred shred people. Like you could with like the Grau or the Bruin, but I mean, I would love to see like the Craig or the XM4. That's or what I was gonna AK say. I would love or... to see the Craig. I actually wouldn't. So I was watching Nick Merckx today. They had the reactive camo. I was looking for mm -hmm. like a YouTube video on it because there was like, oh, it's unreleased. I was like, wait. Before I found, before I knew it was unreleased, I went and tried to like look for it. I was like, okay, what's the name of this AUG? Because I want to get it. I didn't find it, but I did see a Craig skin, a reactive Craig skin that's supposed to be oh, coming out yeah. this season. It's that, a bat, right? Yes. Yeah. Bro, if that you thing like that? was meta, that thing is sick. Yeah. Oh, you're a little. It's a bat. It's a bat. <laughs> <laughs> Some people may say it's something else, but. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I saw that on uh, the Bentis, the TikTok guy. Oh, really? I didn't even yeah, know that. Yeah, I saw. Uh... He did like a reaction video. Ah, uh, makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that would be. I mean, that's what one thing he said in his video is he's like, "You tell me I'm gonna spend twenty five dollars on this gun, and it's it's gonna be they're gonna make it meta, and then it's gonna get patched in two weeks, <laughs> or something like that." I that's was like, what I was, that's, no, that's so true. When I when I saw the AUG skin today, the reactive AUG skin, I was like, "This is what's gonna happen. They're gonna release it." A week mm -hmm. later, the AUG is going to get nerfed. Yeah. Watch. Because I, I, I already know the name of the bundle. It's the Racer bundle. It's called like mm. the Racer O2, I think the AUG is, or something like that. Mm. But watch, they're going to release that stuff, and then whoop, nerf coming. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I actually, like, 
I'm it's like a great business tactic to be honest. It's actually a fantastic business tactic, let me tell you. <laughs> but like I'm torn like I feel like we're not at that point though yet. Um just cuz I don't feel I mean don't get me wrong a lot of people are using the hog, but I don't think we're at that point where it's like the DMR where everybody's using it. Oh, no no no. I don't even think that the I think the meta right now is is really good. Yeah. The only problem with it is is that if you're going to do good you have you're to either use using the AUG, the FFAR, or I feel like the, the M16 AMAX. hits about as the yeah, and the and the AMAX. I was just talking like Cold War uh, weapons. Oh yeah, but yeah, yeah AMAX, AUG, M16, FFAR. You can maybe use the Mac 10. Like I like the Mac 10 just because I like the movement speed you get with it compared to like two running two ARs. Yeah. Um, but the FFAR, like if it's you're going against a good player, you're probably gonna lose like most up close gunfights if you have an smg it just that thing just shreds but i don't think that any guns are overpowered right now which, yeah. which is really good i think for the game but i just personally would like to see um i would love to see like a new meta change like every couple months yeah you know so I mean? like At almost least... every season basically like, yeah the season's yeah. what like two three months maybe yeah Not like even. buff like buff a gun and and i don't know make that shit meta like everybody's gonna i mean that's a great business tactic too like buff a gun make it meta put out a, a bundle for it people are gonna <laughs> buy it like i i mean that's, I, that's, that's just how what they roll what bro. happens that's, Dude, right. that's, that's what happens like if if you if you like know anything like i mean we've, we've been playing this we've been playing it almost since the beginning no i've been playing we've been playing this since the beginning of the game basically and and um uh like like the kilo bro like how many before they started doing reactive bundles and stuff like how many times like when they started to release the um tracer rounds right remember remember when the growl was meta mm-hmm. yeah. and then like they did boom, a tracer pack the purple tracer pack bro like everybody was like i gotta have that shit i bought it if, and you ha- yeah, and you have to use the growl like because it was so good and then boom kilos meta or what uh, you know uh bruin was meta they released a few Bruin skins, like people were gonna buy them. Kilo was meta. They had like four different tracer packs for the Kilo. I mean, it's just what it's what they do all the time. And yeah. I don't know like how these people find these new metas, but I would love for a Cold War AR to be to be the next meta. Yeah. I think that would be the best thing for the game. Yeah, Krig, M4, A- I mean, I would like to see the AK-47, to be honest. Dude, That'd be I, cool. I wanted to use it so bad. I remember when, when they in the integration in, first happened, and like we all got on it like after our games update. That was the one you went to, and I went to the Krig. Yeah. And we're like, oh my like god, the they're so good. And then like 24 hours later, we're like, oh my god, they're so shit. <laughs> yeah, they were horrible. And then everybody had the DMR. Yeah, shout out yeah. Booyah. Yeah. yeah, and the sub- that was in the Subliners tourney. Yeah. That was like the first big tournament after the integration. Yeah. They just announced that um well, I don't know if you saw that Kaylee uh They didn't Kaylee say when though. They said when they not yeah. host their next one. That's that's what I was saying. They they weren't saying when, but when they host their next one. So maybe that's yeah. soon. So I mean that would be cool. Another hundred I mean, tournament. Yeah, that'd be nice. I mean, what do you got? So you got Empire two V two still supposed to happen. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they're gonna have NA Twitch rivals. I mean I haven't heard anything about I don't know. And they Twitch rivals just probably due to what happened last time. The person who runs it's probably like, eh, let me yeah. steer away from you guys. <laughs> Supposedly a big 2v2 in the works this month. That's what they're saying. That's what people are saying. People are saying? Mm-hmm. You don't got, you don't, I mean, you can't say it on the podcast if you got intel, but you got intel? No, you no. can say yes or yeah. no. Yeah, I mean, we we had it. I mentioned, I mentioned it. Yeah. Too. Oh, yeah. Hey, that was that was mid March, apparently, huh? I forgot about yeah. that. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's it's supposed to be the last he said. It was supposed to be like end of March. Oh. So, like that could be something we're looking forward to. And he said, he said big. Big. I mean, they do it. <laughs> they they do it big. Like. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we need it. We still need to send out our messages to you know mm-hmm. people about our odd man out thing we want to do mm-hmm. i know yeah anybody wants to if any big wig was listening to our podcast if anybody wants to help us run a tournament and sponsor it for us we have the teams already put together and there's 
some of like the biggest names in Warzone that play in all the big tournaments. So mm-hmm. we already got, we got a team stack list filled out. You want it? Let me know. Mm-hmm. Bang that line. Bang it. <laughs> okay, let me pause. Let me let me stop. <laughs> Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. <laughs> Do you think that? Do you think uh, going into the next year of Warzone, you'll see more private matches, tournaments? Uh, God, we covered this like so many times, like just just briefly. But I don't know. I mean, I mean, you seen just... that Warzone scrim accounts being created? Apparently, that yeah. I think from from what I take from it, it's being run by the people at Xset, or those people decide, hey, let's yeah. do this. It... I thought it was. Is it is Bartonella just running it, or like? I don't. I, he may be a part of the people that are running it, but from like I went to the pe- I went to the, like their follower list, the people that uh-huh. are, they're following. And it's like nothing but a bunch of people who have done stuff for the organization Xset. Oh, okay. He's he's the Xset, right? Bartonologist. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. I think they yeah, just that, I mean, launched cool. that what, like a couple weeks ago, maybe. I mean. If there's ever gonna be a pro league, it's probably gonna have to be oh, hundred percent got to be in private, private matches. Match. Yeah, but there's just so much work to be done. Hmm. I mean, yeah, there. That's that's the problem is that there's. It's just like it needs a lot of work, and yeah. I don't know. Like, I think for for a company like obviously from a business standpoint, for it to be a good like business move, they have to make sure it's gonna be profitable. So I just don't know if maybe that's the issue right now. They don't know if like a Warzone Pro League is going to be profitable. Like they're already really kind of just dabbling in the Call of Duty League. So it was his first year last year. I mean, I know you've seen like the Call of CDL teams host Warzone tournaments. I would like to see like actual like CDL, like Call of Duty League host a tournament. Yeah. Like, or do what if they, I mean, I don't know if they could do that, but. It'd be really funny if they could take a if they could take the CWL, you know, it's Call of Duty World League, uh-huh. and just take it and make it Call of Duty Warzone League. <laughs> I mean, they have the branding because they bought MLG, so wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, that's like that would be like, I don't know, keeping a familiar acronym and a name, like something that people have familiar, seen for a long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then bringing it into Warzone. So uh, um, I'm on, I'm on Twitter right now, right? Uh huh. I want you to tell me if this is truth. Or a lie just because this person has a creator code and is being fact paid. Fact or cap. Basically, fact or cap. <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, here, yeah. Tim the Tatman tweets out, I just want to say it's officially been a year since Warzone has come out, and I truly think it's my favorite BR I've ever played. It also made me fall in love with Call of Duty again, hopeful for the future. Fact or cap? I feel like it's mm-hmm. cap, Loki. I mean, he does get on and play it every day, but I feel like he probably had more fun playing Fortnite with the boys. Yeah, the mm, mm, the problem. Yeah, I I mean, I would say maybe I'm kind of leaning maybe towards more fact, because I feel like the skill gap in uh, Call of Duty compared to Fortnite lower. is way lower. <laughs> like, damn, Timmy's talking shit. No, no, I'm just saying, like in general, you can be a good, like a decent player and still or even above average, and you can still play like Call of Duty with Warzone, especially since there's a lot of RNG re- result yeah. involved. Excuse me, sorry. Um, I mean, everything has RNG, even if it's a BR, let's be real. Yeah, but if you don't know how to build in Fortnite, you're getting shit on. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's fact. I played Every Fortnite time. like maybe four times. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like that set, that's really what kind of, I think, took away a lot of the content creators from Fortnite. Is that like everybody got so sweaty at the game that it was really, really hard to play um, and do good and just kind of like have fun and play? Like these guys can still do that in Warzone. Yeah. That's that's how I feel. So maybe, I mean, it could be fact. And I was also saying just because he said it made him fall in love with Call of Duty again, that's kind of how I felt. I mean, yeah. Because I mean, we haven't played since MWR and then like the. Mm -hmm. I remember you met when he messaged me. It was like I mean, Warzone wasn't even out yet when he messaged me because it was just no, Modern Warfare. No. Yeah. And you're like, yo, I saw you're playing again. Should I? Because I, you didn't even have it. You're like, should I buy it? Yeah, like, I saw yeah. you post on Instagram and I DM'd you. Yeah, I think I, it's because I, I just got that three six or Xbox One, not a three sixty. Mm-hmm. Xbox One's trash compared to three sixty. I didn't even have the game, bro. Yeah. 
when I messaged you. I remember. I didn't even have Modern Warfare. Because you got you at... I wasn't even going to buy the game. Mitch bought it for me. Oh, shout out Mitch. Yeah, shout out I Mitch. I saw he was in our stream last night, too. Yeah. Little Michiro, 51. <laughs> w. <laughs> Vague, but uh really. yeah i feel that's kind of like how i felt about warzone so i mean i can i can complete i can believe that and also i mean if the game was making me as much money as tim the tap man i i feel like he probably had more did I, i'm you know i wasn't around during fortnite so i can't say if he had more viewership but i know that's like where he had the overwatch viewership Hell no. where he helped him and then he didn't have this viewership when he was on i fortnite. don't think so i don't think he was as popular on fortnite do you think it's maybe there, because though ninja was still on twitch at the time encouraged yeah probably. was still on twitch like like uh just just like how nick i don't think nick and tim would be as popular right now if uh dr disrespect was still on twitch like nick nick had mentioned that when nick got did, like a super did he like, have more view- i thought nick had more viewers than doc even when doc was streaming no, 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 on no. twitch i'm not i'm not saying he didn't have more viewers i'm just saying like Nick Nick shot up from like averaging like 30 30 viewer 30,000 viewers 35k 40 at a, on a really really good stream and now he averages like 60. Oh, because Doc's no longer on the platform. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I get and what because, you're saying. I get what you're saying. Yeah, he had mentioned that when Doc got banned, like somebody somebody had said like, "Bro, your viewership is like crazy." Like and he was like, "Yeah, I mean, because of a certain person, like a lot of people don't want to go to a different app to go watch their streamer a streamer play. That's why Mixer failed. Well, yeah, like no one yeah, wa- no one wanted to switch over to something they're already so much used to. Yep, and I I feel like that's kind of why Tim and uh, Tim and Nick are like they're great content. They're two of the best content creators. Oh yeah, in in Warzone, uh, they've got to be top two. But um, yeah, I just think you know things happen to like certain people and. That can happen to really anybody, like at any time. Like, imagine Nick signs a, I don't know, YouTube pays him a freaking buttload, like a bag, like they pay, like they paid Valkyrie and Courage to switch over. Yeah, yeah. Like, imagine how much like he could make in a like a YouTube contract. Like, I don't think I, I don't. Think, he probably wouldn't switch, but I'm just saying. Like, well, I don't think Twitch will let him switch. I think Twitch will throw the bag at him. Yeah, but I'm just saying. Like, imagine he switches, right? then guys like swag and aiden like guys like that they're gonna start their viewership is probably gonna go th- up it's yeah. always the next step it's always the next step yeah i mean swags already goes up the second nick get, gets off like mm-hmm. especially during tourneys i mean during the toronto ultra 100k nick when did his gym stream it was probably sitting around like 15 20 some, i don't know somewhere around there she still gets a ton of yeah. viewers but swag was sitting over at 80k in the finals yeah dude and yeah, swags usually what like around 20 yeah 25. i was gonna say 20 yeah yeah so, i mean like yeah it's always it's always that next that that next girl or guy up they're yeah. always gonna benefit from that top dog you know leaving or whatever happens that's why you still don't see a lot of these like really big streamers stream like at the same time unless they're playing together that's why symphony streams hella early in the morning He's yeah. one of the biggest early morning streamers, like him and Mutex. I mean, he's up at, what, like 4 a.m. PST or something like mm-hmm. that? Crazy. Like, he, I think he said he goes to sleep at, like, 8 p.m. Yeah. Like, that's just dedication. But, but he also knows that's, like, the best time for content lobbies is early mm-hmm. mornings. Yeah. It, not only can you, like, drop big kill games, but you can also interact with chat without having to, like focus like when you're playing at night sometimes like if you're trying to interact with your chat it's a little more difficult because you're also trying to get good gameplay Mm -hmm. that people are going to want to watch but yeah it's hard to do like at the same time i guess i don't know and you get a lot more mad at nighttime you just go god damn it yeah dude that's like the biggest thing like i mean we've noticed that is like if we really want to get content and like obviously to grow to grow your twitch channel you can't just Stream, stream you gotta put content gotta elsewhere grow it outside yeah so i mean to do that we either have to like play in the morning so we don't play against the kids who are trying to be the next cdl pro or you know at a at a certain time or we just got to get a, a lucky lobby yeah i mean this past i mean since we like because we used to just do duo quads with no fill it, yeah. was, like, it was like diamond only and then yeah, we were like weird so we're, weird 
we were just like, you know what, let's throw it on Phil's. You throw it on Phil's, and then you start mixing in little gold lobbies there once in a while. I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. this is a little more, you know. And then yesterday we played, I think, well, did you see what happened to this SBMM Warzone thing? No, what happened? They're where they have their data stored, the building caught uh -huh. on fire. No shot. Yeah, so, like, remember last night, I was like, I wonder what lobbies were getting. I went to go search it. Way. The data, The data wasn't there because their data facility... Were, uh, their company that they pay to hold their data uh -huh. the facility caught on fire luckily their like data i think was like on a different floor so it didn't uh -huh. it wasn't the floor that caught on fire uh, but they had to turn off the their that floor did it catch on fire <laughs> yeah the people were like oh yeah people were posting like jokes underneath they're like oh yeah some people were saying they saw a black activision uh van drive away <laughs> <laughs> they're but, trying to sabotage him bro yeah Arson. but no I, I saw that i was like holy so yeah that was a, so i don't even know what lobbies but that was i thought that was like wow yeah i think that was one of the worst things hot take one of the worst things that's ever happened to warzone yeah i think it's kind of calmed down a bit since then but it has yeah. but when that thing when that first came out bro the accusations that people were throwing around i know they were just like everybody was a cheater everybody was using a net duma everybody's Oh, people, there's people Living out there who still believe everybody uses a Nate. If you stream and you drop over 20 kills, people literally think you use a Net Duma. I've been yeah. in people's, I've been in other streamers' streams who've said that, who think yeah. every single content creator uses a Net Duma to get a get an easy lobby. Instead of streaming 11 hours straight and at the 11 hour mark, I get my bronze lobby. Yeah. I mean, you have, to it's have, all, it's all luck, dude. you have to have dedication to stream Warzone for 11 hours, bro. I could barely play it for four hours straight before I want to chop my head off. <laughs> That's not cap. Like, <laughs> I started losing my mind. Maybe I'm just getting hangry, you know? Maybe I just need to eat, like, take a 30-minute break at dude, the four-hour yeah, mark or something, but Jesus. Yeah. We need like a like Nick's got a Nick's got emu, bro. He just brings her, she brings him food. That's what we need, bro. We're not at that level yet, bro. I know, I know. <laughs> we we aren't, bro. Maybe if we we're win not, this Mavix, we're not as buff as him, not as good looking as him. Yeah, okay. maybe if we win the Mavix Madness uh, thing, we'll we'll start getting oh. there. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Just need that bracket to be announced. Hopefully, we're in that. I mean, I need, had the most. We just need more I people had. that uh, want their stats done for their Warzone tournaments. You know, if you want your stats done for Warzone tournaments, we'll get on that for you. It's a pretty <laughs> cheap price, I would say. It Especially is. if you play in a good amount of tournaments. Oh, we're yeah. on that shit like... <clears throat> Facts, bro. White on rice. <laughs> I haven't heard that in a minute. <laughs> That's probably like the whitest thing you could ever say. <laughs> nah. nah <laughs> no? Bro, never. <laughs> Who do you think is one of the EU Twitch rivals? Uh, I, th I saw your response on Twitter when I posted it. I said oh, the yeah, same thing. Yeah, FIFA and Wars. FIFA's been playing out of his mind. Did you ever pull for... this? Did we pull the stats from today? I didn't even. No, I wasn't even going to. I'm just going to pull them for tomorrow. Tomorrow? Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, like, I think it's a good spot to end it. But um, I was going to say, I can tell you, like, FIFA, his stats have been crazy. Let me turn my light off here. Sorry. Getting really bright. Um, yeah, you're already white his, enough, bro. Yeah. <laughs> his stats have been absolutely nuts since the beginning of the second season. Um, he has... Where is that? He's right here. Sorry, I had to find it real quick. Um, is this overall his, uh, or strictly 2v2? Yeah, well, I'm going to go over all three. All right. uh, his overall KD is 8.53. He's averaging 19 kills um, a tournament. That's through six tournaments. You mean per game? Uh, yeah, those were yeah. That's average kills like overall. Average kills like from the from the right side. So his overall KD is eight point five three from six tournaments. Average kills from the six tournaments is nineteen, almost a thousand kills. Um, his two v two average is eighteen kills per game. He has an eight point five five KD through three two v two tournaments. Um, his uh bot race tournaments, two of them. Oh, sorry, it's a total of five tournaments, guys. Sorry. So two bot races and three 2v2s. So the bot race ones, he's averaging 21 uh, per game and 8.47 KD. He's frying. Him and him and Wars are like hitting form. I think that's that's going to be his duo, I think, from now on. And that's really all that kid needs is is a duo, and he's going to be top Warzone player for a long time. 
Yeah, I mean, do you think do you think any of these EU guys are gonna end up coming over to NA? Oh, he's he wants to move. He's trying to move. I know all of them are trying to move, be just due yeah, to he, their restrictions. He uh he put out a tweet and was like, "How do I how do I get a visa? <laughs> how do I get to the America so I can the U.S. so I can play more Warzone tournaments? Like so I can play like get and I guess he has he has an internet issue also. So well, he, he plays in a shack in and out of his backyard. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Have you seen the little thing? Mm-hmm. Yeah, his shed, his shed his gang. Shed. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, shed gang. Yeah, oh, shed gang. <laughs> But yeah, I guess I don't know. I guess maybe the internet here is in the US is a lot better than EU. I don't know the whole story I have no behind idea. that. Yeah, uh, but that's that's what the guys make it seem like. These well, I know, stuff. I know, I saw a, like an article or tweet or something that saying uh, Virgin Media, who's the internet provider in EU, and uh -huh. well, I shouldn't say EU. I think it's just the UK probably. Um, they're they were struggling with the recent season two update from Warzone. Really? So many people downloaded that update apparently that it messed with their servers or something like that. It was oh weird. My God. Or it was like the most data that was ever used for them because Is of it not effect. like is it not like the US where there's like multiple Well you gotta think different... about it like this though. The UK like is more condensed than the US. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, I understand that. I'm just saying like they don't have like you know, we got we got AT and T, we got Xfinity, we got Oh, I think um, I don't actually. I don't know. I can't say. That's what I'm saying. Like, is there multiple providers? I would. Or? I would think there is. Okay, because that's just crazy. That one's having. I know. Issue. I know. That's. I'm pretty sure that's who uh, Liam uses is Virgin Media. And I mean, I know he's oh. always tweeting out. I'm like, yo, what the hell? What the hell. So it must be like maybe the main one that a lot of the guys use. Yeah. Or that probably most people use if they're having an issue with everybody. They probably offer the, the best speeds at the most competitive prices. I'm sure. Got it. Got it. That makes sense. Yeah. Anything else you want for season two? I'm trying to think. Season two, mm. or not season two, but second year of. Uh, yeah. Uh. No. Nah, no. Nah, I got you. Though? Um. No. I think like just new map changes and maybe a maybe some. I would like multiple guns to be meta, kind of like a. Maybe would like you like, a, like to a, maybe like see a CDL vibe? Any new guns at it? Like, um, is there a certain like I don't know? Do you want like a new sniper from? I wish like Cold War had a better sniper. Oh yeah, I mean, I like, dude. I really, really enjoy the Pellington, but it just does not hit. Like, it's so bad. Yeah, it's so bad. Like, ugh, it makes me, it makes my heart hurt. How much, how bad it is? Has that? I don't know if has anyone even tried the Farah eighty three, or whatever it is twenty three thirty. I know it ends in a freaking three. I mean, uh, I think it's a the eighty three Farah eighty three. I think, I don't know, but uh, I know Lucky was using it. Uh, he got a YouTube video with it for like 38 kills. Oh, and he sure. had, uh, he was, but he was using it as like an SMG. So he was I feel like that's like what everyone's just going to do with Cold War guns because the attachments yeah, are all messed up. It's weird, bro. That's what I'm saying. They got to fix that stuff. And, and I think the game will be, it, they can't not want a Cold War weapon to be the new, the next, the meta of going forward, right? I mean, you would assume. I mean, I like, would. The modern warfare so, weapons have been in the game know. for so long; they get stale. Yeah, but I don't know. I'm not sure. I guess yeah, just map changes and um, and uh, buff the cold war ARs. Any tournament and I, wish and list? I'll be happy. Oh, tournament wish list. I hope there's some more hundred Ks. I hope that like, I just hope the tournaments pop off more. I think. I hope competitive we... gameplay is is uh great for any game. I hope we get like a more uh like a scheduling system, I guess I wanna say. I feel like like mm. some stuff's like very last minute. I get, you know, big money, yeah. you have to plan sponsors, you have to plan this, but like I mean what, some of these tournaments get announced like six days beforehand. All of them get announced six days beforehand. Yeah. It's the weirdest like, thing. I don't know. Maybe so like that's what I'm saying, like even like uh, that's why the league would be such a great idea to be honest. Yeah. I think once I mean, I think ultimately the end goal is going to be it's going to if they're going to make Warzone competitive, you're going to go to private matches. You're going to make have a league system. That'll be that's obviously going to be the end goal. But do you know what's going to be good about that too? Is that you're going to have you're going to really see. Um, I don't I don't know, man. I I think it's oh, it's going to be I what's going to good, it's, and I think it's bad. It's going to be what's happened, but it may not be the most entertaining. No, I think no, no. viewership will still be there, but. Yeah, it's not even that from my standpoint. It's gonna take. I think it's gonna take the fun out of the game. 
I mean, that's, that's what, what happens whenever you turn things competitive. Like the enjoyment, the I, mean, I shouldn't say enjoyment because obviously people who play competitive they still enjoy it. But like for the casual, it it can have a chance to remove that aspect of the game. I just think the current two v two kill race format is if they just had an anti cheat like this, that would the game would be f- perfect for that format. That's what I think. I think that's the most entertaining thing. Like, I just don't think from a content creator I think perspective, I agree. I, I even think from a competitive standpoint, like it's, it's the most fun. Like it, you can but be competitive because which, you're playing against somebody else, but you can also have fun, enjoy the game and like kill people that you aren't as good as you. Okay. Now here's the question I want to have for you then. If you were to have a $1 million tournament, you would want it to be decided by 2v2 and pubs? No. You think it should I'm be just, private? I'm matches? just telling you that's what ruined Fortnite. You think I? I actually like. I recently got into watching Fortnite. I actually enjoy. Yeah, watching. but you're not gonna play it. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like from a viewership perspective, I. Think, yeah, but you can't build in Call of Duty. I that's that's true, but that's why they got to figure something it, out. Yeah, that's why it's it. I don't think it's gonna be good. I think bot races are fun for everyone. And if they just if if they eliminated the issues of like dev errors and cheating, the game would be so good. I don't think we're ever gonna get rid of cheating. Yeah, I generally don't think that's, that's just ever. I think they're gonna up their, you know, like anti cheat internal anti cheat. But there's always gonna be someone you're running into, and you know what? Like honestly, if they were to do a ban wave every week, I wouldn't mind it. Yeah. Like you know, f f f the anti cheat. If you're to ban it, people who get reported enough, and you guys find that they are cheating every week, every Thursday when you're updating Warzone, you're banning people. I'm fine. Yeah. But like when you guys are like when they're waiting like a month bet- between after like two weeks, the hacks are back out. Yeah, that's what Raided and Aiden were talking about. Aiden was like, I w- they, I'd be fine with them doing it once a month. And Raided's like, they need to do it more than that. Yeah, you they need to do it at least every two weeks. If the reports are true of someone leaking internal code to the hacking websites, every two yeah. weeks you're going to have... A che- cheaters are going to come back. They're going to yeah, create I mean, a new account. They're going to do it all over again. To to like, I guess to go back and answer your question, like, would I rather... Or would I be fine with a million dollars going into a pub? Like, I'd be fine with that. I think multiple, a lot, if you're watching, I think if you're watching, you're fine with it. I think from the player standpoint, it's, it's, it's better. Like the integrity is better if, if it's in a private match. Um, but I think f- from a spectator standpoint, it's the most entertaining. All right. Now another one for you then. I'm going to ask you another for okay. when the COVID's over. Oh yeah. Gone <laughs> out the window. We have herd mental herd immunity or whatever the hell, whatever you want to call it. Would you? I will tell you. Go ahead. Oh, <laughs> what your vaccine? No, 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 no. Oh. Um. Would you want to see lands even in the two v two pub format? Yes. So you can know who's using yes. a Cronus, who's using what. Yes. Yeah. So that we have no. We have no pace setters coming out. Entertaining thing, but you know what? Evan brought that up like in his stream the other day. Mm-hmm. Like he was like, when when COVID's over, like chat, how cool would it be for a hundred of us, right? Imagine like a huge a, a land like a two day event, right? Fifty teams of two people, big ass bracket. They play over two days, and they just play two v two format. You know, me and you are sitting here, two monitors, boom, competitors are sitting across from us, two monitors. Good old Call of Duty land set up, bro. You got the crowd in the back. Everybody's on the same internet. Nobody's nobody's dealing with that issue, you know? Mm-hmm. And, dude, but I just don't think it'll happen. I don't think that would this make enough was, money. This is what I was going to bring up, though. If Call of Duty League is interested in pushing over to, in, to Warzone, I was going to say in the zone right now because I was looking at the podcast layout. And it says <laughs> in the zone. But um, you know how... When COVID's gone, you know how yeah. the teams are supposed to host their own home, oh, yeah, stands, home series. Home series. What if Bro. Thursday or like when? So right now they're doing what is it? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what if before the home series, two days before the home series or one day before mm-hmm. the home series, depending on how many teams you're bringing in for the Warzone part, you host the Warzone tournament before the actual home series? Idea? That would, dude. And then maybe, I mean, or, or maybe you do it like earlier in the day, you do it the same days, but you do it earlier mm-hmm. in the day, right? And then on yeah. Sunday, you have your championship. If you do it, yeah, if you do it earlier in the day, you're... If you if you have no extra days, you're not paying for any extra like you know, oh I'm renting out the arena for one more day or two more yeah, days or whatever. Yeah, that eliminates that I guess issue for. But dude, that would be sick because you already have all those people coming, and then like anybody who's a fan of CDL and Warzone, they can go back and forth. Well, I mean, you have CDL teams signing Warzone people. You have a hundred thieves. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I think London, the Royal Ravens. I Royal guess those Ravens are really have Liam. Yeah, I don't think anyone else. I mean. Where do, where do you think Aiden went? He was in New York to sign a contract. Do you think I, he went with I mean, a CDL team? Do you think he like signed with like Vayner Media, like a media agency? Um. Well, if he signed I don't with, know what other organizations. If he signed with Vayner Media and he signed with a organization, he was he signed with a rocker. Well, I mean, if he just signed with Vayner Media, like Booga, he's not under, necessarily under Minnesota. Yeah. Though. No, no. I'm just saying, like, but if he's gonna be representing like a yeah, he'd have ties with Rocker. I get you. I get rocker. you. Rocker, but I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I guess we'll find out soon. Yeah, that'd be but, nice. I mean, if I had to take a guess, it would be the Subliners. I could just because he was in New York. Just because he was in New York, yeah. but I don't know any other big companies where he would be having besides uh, Gary Vee, where he'd be having a a meeting for a lot of money. Yeah. And that's gonna be a big contract, man. He's 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 one of the top dogs in Warzone. Yeah, he's got a lot of uh, potential too. He's got the personality, and he's one of the best. So that's I mean, a earnings prove it. Or wait, did wait? Did he finally pass Huskers, right? Or no? No, no, no. Oh no, they choked because they choked the hundred k. <laughs> yeah, forgot about that. So Huskers yeah, still top dog in Sorry, sorry, yeah. Aiden. I still love you, Daddy. <laughs> There's a oh um. Another thing, there's a the Mina Mendes tournament on the 14th. Oh, Did the you 10K. See, you see how many teams are playing? In Dude, there's, I think Mindy? there's like what 32 maybe. Was Dude, it 16 yeah. or 32? Mm-hmm. There was a lot of teams like, and I think that tournament became a lot better when the uh, Empire one got canceled. I think a lot of those Probably. guys were like ready to play. And when it, wait, like, when oh, is this Mina Mendes one again? It's on, it's on Sunday. Oh, this Sunday? The 14th, yeah. Hey, let's talk about we're about to play in a tournament come here the 27th. Oh, yes, sir. Our first 2v2. Our next. We're next Little up, quads. bro. We got to practice. <laughs> we're next up, bro. We're next up. Yeah. I'm about to start flexing on like Nick Merckx and Momo for a master, bro. Oh. Oh. <sighs> you about to start talking your shit? Yeah. You know me. As soon as it's started, to, I can make money. I'm about to just start trying so hard. <laughs> all right well anyway i mean i guess we can end there with that i kind of like that cdl not cdl sorry the warzone land talk i think that's a very interesting aspect that could come into play here pretty soon kind of oh, like yeah. obviously you had the fortnite world cup so anyway, everyone saw how big that was dude so, i mean warzone land events would be huge think about how many people like content creators play just warzone People would and people would love to meet their favorite. All the creator. content creators would go to those. I guarantee it. Yep. Mm-hmm. A lot. Be like, all the timelines have been filled with I miss LAN events. I miss LAN events. So. Yeah, I can't wait for us to go to one. I know I've never been. I always want to go to one, and I've shit, always we... somewhat lived close to them too. Like, <laughs> shit, we gonna have a booth, baby. <laughs> <laughs> hundred thieves. <laughs> We're going to the hundred thieves home series. <laughs> go to the cash app compound. Hell yeah. All right. Well, we'll end it there, guys. This is episode number four of the End Zone Podcast. We'll see you guys again on uh, next Thursday. Peace. Peace.